Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1,284 of our trek, and it is time for Meditation Monday. Taking time to relax, refocus, and reprioritize our lives is crucial in order to create a living legacy. For you, it may be just a time alone for quiet reflection, or you may utilize some sort of structured meditation practices. In my life, meditation includes reading and reflecting on God's Word and in prayer. It is a time to renew my mind, refocus on what is most important, and making sure that I am nurturing my soul, mind, and body. As you come along with me on our trek each Meditation Monday, it is my hope and prayer that you too will experience a time of reflection and renewing of your mind. In our meditation today, let us consider Follow the Light. As you give gifts to others this Christmas, Let us meditate on the ultimate gift that was given to us through Christ Jesus. Suppose you could give a gift to Christ. What would it be? How could you possibly select a gift for the one who has everything and who also made everything? The wise men did, and that can be an example for us. In addition to the gold, frankincense, and myrrh, they gave the Savior the gifts that we can give Him today. Their hope, their time, and their worship. The wandering wise men gave Jesus their hope. When everyone else saw a night sky, the small band of men saw the light. The sight of the stars sparked their desire in their hearts that sent them traveling to a far-off land. They went, seeking Jesus. When night comes into your world, what did you see? The darkness or the stars? The hopelessness or the hopefulness? Sometimes, just as he did long ago, God uses darkness to reveal his stars. In John chapter 1 verse 5, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. So while you are giving your gifts this season, give God your hope for Christmas. While you're giving, give God your time. The wise men did this also. Before they gave God their presents, they gave their presents. It's likely that these men traveled as long as two years before locating the Prince of Heaven. Before that one incredible moment, when they knelt before Jesus... The wise men spent many moments, months, and perhaps years searching in anticipation of that meeting. Just as the wise men devoted themselves to seeking the Savior, so can you. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 29. But from there you will search again for the Lord your God, and if you search for Him with all of your heart and soul, you will find Him. Once the wise men completed their search for the King of Kings, the wise men gave Jesus another gift, their worship. These were men of great wealth, influence, and intellect. What did they do when they saw Jesus? Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Worship. It is the gift that extends to the giver as well. Through worship, we come to see God more clearly. God invites us through worship to see his face so he can change ours. In worship, we simply stand before God with a prepared and willing heart that lets God do His work in us. And He does it. He wipes away our tears. He mops away our perspiration. He softens our furrowed brows. He touches our cheeks. He changes our faces as we worship. The wise men sought the child of God just as God seeks His children. John chapter 4 verse 23. But the time is coming. Indeed, it is here now. When true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, the Father is looking for those who worship Him in that way. The gifts of hope, time, and worship. Three gifts the wise still give. Wise people still seek the King of Kings. Once the light that we seek becomes an integral part of the fabric of our lives, we become the gifts that God seeks. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. We now have the light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. And that's a wrap for today's meditation. 
Next week, we will continue our trek on Meditation Monday as we take time to reflect on what is most important in creating our living legacy. On tomorrow's trek, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you for joining me for this trek that we call life. And encourage your friends and family to join us. And then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,283 daily treks or read the daily journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, Together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, and to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.